Welcome to the place where dreams come true. Again, folks, if you're standing, please don't lean against the door. Our next stop is Disney, Polynesian, Village, and Bungalows. Our next stop is Disney, Grand Floridian Resort and Spa. And as always, please remain clear of the doors. Again, if you're standing, please don't lean against the doors. Our next stop is Disney, Grand Floridian Resort and Spa. And there it is. That's where we're headed. To the place all the way up on the very tippy top. California Grill. Here we are. This is fancy up here. There's like a little thing where you can put your face in and take a photo. I didn't even realize that the actual restaurant was over here. I was turning to the left and this is the restaurant. Let's go have a quick, quick peek around. Wow, this is nice. It's very fancy looking. It's overlooking the Magic Kingdom over there. This is cool. Gonna head on to the balcony for what would have been blue hour, but it's there's a rainstorm coming through. It's still very blue out here. We should be able to come out here for the fireworks. I don't know what time they are tonight, but it's right around eight o'clock. So hopefully maybe around 10. There's a private room here too. And look, that is the contemporary down there, Fantasia gift shop. Oh, I'm falling behind, we're going inside. She called this an on-stage kitchen. Oh, there's octopus tentacles there. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm gonna get me some steak. That looks so good. The pastry chefs are down here. I'm just like in the kitchen now. So just wanted to give you guys a quick look at the menu for California Grill. I am looking at this filet down here. Where is it? Way down at the bottom. There it is. But that pork sounds good too. So they brought out some sourdough bread with some extra virgin olive oil and some fire roasted tomatoes in there. It's pretty delicious. We'll be here in just a few minutes, and you may enjoy it right here from the California Grill. We invite you to step out of one of our rooftop terraces for optimum view of tonight's celebration. Check it out from outside. See how crowded it is out on the balcony and see what the view is like.
after seeing the fireworks, I think that you would want to be sitting at one of these tables on this end of the restaurant. We're seated way over there. Still has a view of the castle, but I think that these have a much better view of the castle. So we were watching the fireworks from that end of the restaurant. There's also another balcony over here on this end of the restaurant Ooh. that you can actually see illuminations from and Hollywood Studios. Look, Hollywood Studios is going off right now. Also, you can hear the electrical water pageant happening right now. I feel like Hollywood Studios is interesting because it, there are larger fireworks that happen during it. They're just not happening right now. This is Galactic Spectacular. This is the Star Wars fireworks. I gotta get back over to Hollywood Studios to watch this fireworks show because from here, it looks real boring. But I remember it being so good. Oh goodness, all right. I'm, I'm gonna go back inside. Our food's probably here by now. It is a pretty awesome view of the electrical water pageant though from up here. Now 100% honesty, we ordered our food so long ago. I have no idea. I know that this is bison. I just don't know what exactly it is and what is in this bison. But it looks really good. It looks really delicious. So we're actually here with Chris and Charlemagne. And Chris, your channel is The Holy Moly? Holy Moly. Yeah. And we'll put a link to that down below. And what did you guys get? This is the uh, Black Grouper. And uh, it looks fantastic. I love seafood. And they have saffron sitting on top. Yep, saffron, mushrooms, micro greens of some sort. Very, very fancy. What are those? Yeah, little, little white shrimp. What did you get? You this is the salad? beef tenderloin with a mashed potato and asparagus. Looks good. This is, in my opinion, more flavorful than a steak. And these little, like it's like gnocchi down here, is delicious. It's got like a mushroom flavor to it. I still don't know what this white stuff is, but it's good. Everything is delicious on my plate. They just brought out the dessert menu. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm gonna get some dessert. 100%. Oh, and there's that coffee. That coffee's really good, we had it. Holy cow. Look at this chocolate cake. This is beautiful. It's Chris's birthday. It's my birthday. Not really. I wish I could go to a BBC party with Jen and Tim. Oh. It's true. That creme brulee. I got the creme brulee. That looks so delicious. I wish I had all of this dessert and you got the chocolate cake the same as me. Is that like a lava cake? Oh man. Look at that. Wow. That looks so, so delicious. So because Jen couldn't make it for dinner tonight, they gave us a flatbread pizza to bring home to her. And there's a cupcake in here. I know that you guys can't see it because it's inside the bag, but I promise somewhere in there is a cupcake. Holy cow, the food here was so delicious. I can't believe how good the food is. And it kind of makes me a little bit upset because now I have to come back. And it was kind of expensive. It was $60 before the tip. Uh, ended up being $72. We're gonna be back here a lot more often because it was delicious. Riding up to the monorail on the world's skinniest escalator. It's going on 11 o'clock at night and there are still so much activity here in the contemporary. Kind of makes me feel like it's a loud resort. Everybody's always interested in the five-legged goat here in the Mary Blair mural for contemporary. Me? I'm more interested in squirrel. So admittedly, I was a little bit skeptical about how good the California Grill was going to be because for the most part, there are a few exceptions, but for the most part, the food at Walt Disney World is not the greatest food that I've ever had. It's good, but not the greatest. This food tonight from California Grill, phenomenal. I want to eat here again all the time. So I highly suggest you guys give it a try. It is way later than I am used to. I'm very tired now, but me being tired was well worth it to eat at California Grill during the fireworks. Like we got to have some bread, have an appetizer, go outside, watch the fireworks, come back in, eat the main course and then dessert, which both were fantastic. 
I, I highly recommend California Grill, and I didn't think that I would highly recommend it, but I do. It was kind of expensive though, and I think reservations are hard to get, but we are gonna try to make another reservation so that Jen can give it a try because she's gotta try this. And so with that being said, we are off, and we will see you guys tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price.